Hello, people of the internet. I'm going to welcome back to the Madden Legends tournament. It is week 12 in the NFC. And, um, uh, well, I really haven't got much to talk about right now. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, well, well, I will um, maybe comment on the matches as they uh, go, I guess, for the rest of the season. Because uh, I don't really have a lot to say uh, other than that. Okay, so, um, anyway, the, um, you know, I suppose, yeah, so 50 to 10, uh, yeah, the Buccaneers just haven't been going well at all. They lost a lot of games by those big margins. Uh, really not keeping it competitive at all. Uh, Rams and Bears, um, I mean, if the, I, if I were to play this game, I would say it would probably be a landslide victory in one way or the other because Rams very offense-centric, Bears very defense-centric, but both have their sparks on the other side of the ball too. So, uh, you know, either way, the uh, Rams won this time. So, uh, I guess... Offense sometimes beats defense, you know. It's not always defense winning championships. Got to give credit to the guys who scored the touchdowns. So anyway, uh, yeah, this one, uh, Philadelphia and New Orleans, I really kind of suppose this wouldn't have been a game I was too excited to play, uh, really. Um, I mean, I don't know. I might do like a season where I pick one team and I stick with them. but um, And, you know, I try to win that way. And, you know, incorporate draft picks and everything, you know, like, try to trade for players and everything. Maybe do a fantasy draft, yeah, that would be, I think that's going to be next on my list. Probably after this tournament is done, do a Legends fantasy draft. Uh, you know, just because uh, I think that would be a good idea, you know, I think that would be fun and entertaining to see what teams you could craft. Because, like, you're still going to get, like, seriously decent players. But anyway... Excuse me. Anyway, so, uh, yeah... No, Seattle versus Minnesota. Now, this was supposed to be the game I was going to do um, this week, along with Detroit and Arizona. Okay, so those are the two games you have there. But um, I uh, ended up scrapping it for Packers and 49ers football. So, you know, I was hoping that would be an entertaining game, and I guess it was, you know. I mean, Minnesota Vikings is not doing too well either. I mean, I try to uh, balance it out so every team gets at least a bit of... Uh, you know, I suppose spotlight, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> you know, now that I've deleted some of the weeks by accident, uh, you know, I guess and some things just don't get the spotlight at all. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, regardless of that, uh, we're coming up to it. Anyway, this is a, a surprisingly close game, but again, the Cowboys have had a surprisingly disappointing season. I mean, they've just lost a lot of games I would expect them to win. Like, this one here, I would have expected the Cowboys to win. I mean, I would have expected the Cowboys to win a lot of these uh, games they've lost. But I guess, you know, that's just the way it is anyway. In Atlanta and New York. I guess New York are probably doing a good job holding up Mike Vick and the Falcons offense. Uh, you know, the Giants defense is a really good defense. I mean, you've got Michael Strahan and Lawrence Taylor on the same team. I mean, you know, then you take in Sam Huff. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of players, Jason Seahorn, too, you know, I mean, really good defense, but I guess I'll talk more about that when I get when we get to the playoffs, uh, but anyway, first game of the week, we're going to look at the Green Bay Packers, who are in San Francisco to take on Joe Montana's 49ers, so anyway, uh, Vershing, <laughs> it's a fake, uh, this is, I mean, the computer did this, like, you can clearly see his computer, but Steve Young is able to run it in on a power run <laughs> to get the six points. So, uh, yeah, I was kind of feeling a little betrayed, so Aaron Rodgers and co. having to respond. Rolling out to his left, throws downfield, he's got a pass, it's Jordy Nelson with the completion, and he was able to power through two defenders, and lucky for him, Ronnie Lott was not able to get there in time, because I don't think he would have got through Ronnie Lott. Anyway, so 7-7, and Joe Montana looking for the pass that will send the 49ers back into the lead, throws a bad pass off the back foot, it's intercepted by Willie Buchanan, and so the Packers are able to get another field goal out of it. And so, yeah, thankfully they didn't try to fake it on this attempt. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the Packers now leading 10-7. to Good start for them after uh, giving up that fake on fourth and goal. So uh, Joe Montana and co. having to respond. Montana looking. He's going to um, survey the field. He's rolling out to his right. He likes a pass downfield that he has. So he throws it across somehow and gets Dwight Clark. Clark taken down at the three. So uh, Dwight Clark now uh, sets up the first and goal for the 49ers. So Joe Montana uh, is actually pushed back by the Packers' defense. And so they are now 10-10. <laughs> uh, 
tight in this game as opposed to leading 14 to 10. Aaron Rodgers now looking down the field for pass throws and he's picked off. And so yeah, it's um starting to go the 49ers way. McDonald, the linebacker on the interception there. But um yeah, so the 49ers are able to kick over another field goal. So the two defenses doing a good job today, aside from giving up that fake, obviously. But anyway, so yeah, 13 to 10. Rodgers looking into the end zone. He's got the pass, so the Packers lead 17 to 13. And uh, this is, I believe... Fuck, I don't know who this is. Anyway... Montana, anyway, he gets into the red zone again for the 49ers, rolls out to his left. He doesn't really have anyone downfield, but he decides to float it up for Vernon Davis, and Davis comes down with a superb catch from Vernon Davis. Uh, great effort to win the, uh, I suppose, catch battle there. But uh, anyway, 20-17 to there to the 49ers, and as the second quarter comes to a close, we're looking at halftime, but... Um, Aaron Rodgers really won't give up for the Green Bay Packers because he just fires it in there and he's got the touchdown to make it a 24-20 to game. So the 49ers can only kick over a field goal in response in the second half to make it a 24-23 to game. So Rodgers uh, might look to uh, expand the lead here to really put a nail in the 49ers' coffin. So Rodgers tries to throw it, but he fumbles the football. And so it's picked up by the 49ers. Charles Haley, five-time Super Bowl winner, picks it up at the six setting up Joe Montana and Co. on first and goal. So Montana almost hit twice, but he's able to find the pass to John Taylor in the end zone to make it a 49ers lead. But can they go for two here? I mean, I think I did, yeah. Okay, so the 49ers go for two, and Joe Montana, looking at to his right, he doesn't see anyone he likes, so he slides into the end zone, and he gets the two-point conversion. That's why Joe Montana is such a great quarterback, his versatility. So anyway, 31-24, to Packers on fourth and four, looking for this play. Rodgers fires across the field, might have been a bad decision by me, but it's a pig six for the 49ers anyway. I suppose, you, you know, you can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway. 24-38, uh, to 38 and Montana and co. get the ball back again and throw it into the end zone. This one is caught by, I believe, Terrell Owens. No, that's Vernon Davis again. Okay, so Vernon Davis again. 44-24. to 24. I went for two there and I missed it. Anyway, it's green pass. He's almost sacked, but it's even worse because he throws another pick six. So, yeah, that is McDonald again, I believe. And uh, yeah, 24 or 51 to 24 is the way the game finished. So a game that was at one point close was just completely scrapped by the Packers in the fourth quarter. Uh, yeah, so 51 to 24, uh, resounding win for Montana's Niners. Anyway, so the Detroit Lions and Arizona Cardinals. Now this was a game I didn't really have too high hopes for. I was just really excited to use Barry Sanders again because he was probably my favorite running back to use. And Jim Thorpe is also a really good running back. So I was kind of like gearing up for a running back battle, but the Lions, I kind of expected to ultimately win because the Cardinals aren't too impressive either. Anyway, so Bobby Lane on that play um, does it really well. It shows what a great player he can be. So and then he hands it off to Barry Sanders for a modest gain, but he gets into the end zone anyway. So it's a 7 to nothing game to the Detroit Lions, and Bobby Lane floats it up, and somehow Herman Moore was <laughs> completely untouched going into the end zone. So it's a 14 to nothing game to the Lions. So anyway, how do the Cardinals respond? Well, there's only one response, and his name is Jim Thorpe on a power run there to the side. He gets in in the end zone to make it a 14 to 7 game. So the Cardinals now... Um, yeah, so the Cardinals, still trailing by seven, need to stop Bobby Lane and co., but Bobby Lane is not going to be stopped, and he's uh, unable uh, to be kept out of the end zone. So um, it's a 21-7 to game, or so the Cardinals think. I don't know why. I thought I just guess I just thought that like that play was so unrealistic. I could pretty much do anything, and it would work, and that's kind of right. So 22-7 to there to the Detroit Lions, and then Carson Palmer throws an interception. So, um, yeah, Spielman there, 22-7. to and uh, the Lions kick over a field goal and they get a 25 to 7 game. So it is still, I believe, a two possession game. No, wait, I'm wrong there. Uh, it's an 18 point game. So anyway, Jim Thorpe almost tackled down, but a Lions player pushes him out of the way of the tackle. And Jim Thorpe is saying goodbye to them, Detroit Lions, because he has entered the end zone for the Arizona Cardinals touchdown to make it a 25 to 14 game. Uh, so, it's not over yet for the Cardinals, and Bobby Lane off a of play action there, he could have confused some of the uh, Cardinals players, and he's able to find Calvin Johnson, and Megatron is not going to be stopped, he's going all the way to the end zone for the touchdown, 20, or 32 to 14 there, and so the Cardinals now with one chance to respond before the half is over to keep this somewhat competitive, throwing it to Larry Fitzgerald, the other Cardinals legend, and he's breaking out of the tackle, and no one is going to stop Larry Fitzgerald from showing his dedication, he's into the end zone for the touchdown to make it a 32 to 21 game, okay, so, um, 
32 to 21. Now it's a 35 to 21 game. So it's a two touchdown lead for the uh, Lions. But the Cardinals are still very much in this until Bobby Lane decides he's going to score another touchdown pass. This one floated up for Golden Tate to make it a 42 to 21 game. Or so everyone would think until this pass was blocked and is picked up by Pat Tillman, the safety. And he looks like he's going to go all the way with it for the two point safety. But no, he's a or two point conversion, I guess. Pick two, right, whatever you want to call it. But Bobby Lane tackles him down just before that can happen. So uh, I suppose good effort from Bobby Lane. Anyway, so throwing, it's just floated up there. I mean, that is uh, Jackie Smith, I believe, into the end zone for the touchdown for the Arizona Cardinals. So it's a 41-28 to game. Bobby Lane throwing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't exactly work out there. But, uh, yeah, the Cardinals do stop the uh, Detroit Lions, I guess, stopping being a very generous term in this situation. But it's a 44-28 to game. Cardinals, with some hope, at the end of the fourth quarter, um, <laughs> throwing downfield, trying to go for the uh, all-in-one play, but it's picked off by Benny Blades, the safety. Um, and, uh, yeah, so 44-28, to Cardinals get the ball back again. And now looking, uh, Carson Palmer throws across the middle of the field, but he's intercepted again. And so, yeah, the Cardinals lost this game, 47-28. to I've been the one with the plan. Thank you for watching my videos. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And until then, guys, I will see you next time. Hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them because that is uh, something I really look forward to every day. So um, until next time, guys, I'll see you then. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, remember to like this video, otherwise I don't get to eat tonight. Thank you. Bye.